welcome to Brownell School. I'm Elsie. And I'm Danny. And today, we're at Brownell School asking the question, how does Brownell help students be the best that they can be? Now I'm joined with Jemima, Kira and Piran. These students started Brano this term. What was it like starting secondary school for you? It was really helpful having the transitions in Year 5 and Year 6. In Year 5 we had a Science and DT and in Year 6 um, we had a Crime Scene. The week at Brano really helped me as well to get to know the school. That's good. And Piran? Um, before I came to the school I was nervous that I'd get lost or be late but the building is well designed and there's always someone to ask if you're stuck. That was great. And you, Jemima? At this school we have tutors there to help us. My tutor played games with us in our first week to help us get to know each other and if I had any concerns or worries I felt comfortable asking her. That was great. Thanks guys. I'm here at Computer Science, which is one of the many Brownell Challenge opportunities offered at Brownell. I'm here with Riley, a year eight, who's going to tell me about the activities offered. Well, one of the activities I most enjoyed was aerospace, and one week a RAF person came in and gave us a talk about what he did, and we also got to fly a drone. So what's your favourite Brownell Challenges? I was elected onto the Student Council for a year, in which time we got rid of plastic in our canteen. We collected our Bronze Paddle Award and we got cheesy chips back in our canteen. What did you do, Matt? My favourite was blue piece badges and in the sessions we like drew pictures and wrote poems and letters to gain those badges. Very nice. I'm here next to the 3G Astro with Oscar and Morgan and I just want to know boys, what skills have you learned doing Brownell Challenge? For Brownell Challenge I was doing skateboard making and the sort of skills which I learnt was creativity and the practical skills that you learn with woodworks. Uh, I'm doing rugby at the moment and so I've learned a lot through that, through like communication and helping me be more healthy. Thank you. Now over to Elsie, who's in the Create Wing. Elsie, what's happening over there? I'm in the Create Wing, stood next to Brano's Green Power Car, which won Best Newcomer in its first race. Also, I'm joined by some Year 9 students. How does Brano help you with your futures? Well, here at Brano School we do a thing called Fantastic Futures, which gives us the opportunity to see possible future careers. I personally have done one called Beach Rangers, which explains about beach safety, and it could aid people who want a possible career in life saving. Um, we have had different opportunities to visit like different universities which helps us to see what university life is like. In our lessons we learn relevant stuff to help us in our future careers. For example, just the other week we had a man from the RAF come in and help us learn about RAF careers in the future. In the Fantastic Futures Brannell Challenge we learn a lot about different careers and which ones to choose from. I'm joined by student ambassadors Finn, Lucy, Hiram and Ella. Can you guys tell me what it's like to be student ambassadors? Well, uh, as student ambassadors, we act as a platform for students, almost just like a student voice. So we collectively put the views of every student together and then try and make the school a better place. Also as student ambassadors, we represent the school at social events. Uh, we're also role models for other students and uh, set a good example for them and we gain leadership, organisation and teamwork skills. Thank you guys. Now we're going to Elsie, who's investigating the Investigate Wing. That's right, I'm taking a sneak peek at one of the science lessons at Brownell School. So now I'm joined with some Year 10 students, we've got Charlie and Lauren, and how does Brownell School help you with your GCSEs? Well the teachers here are very supportive, um, they make sure we don't overstress with anything, so we've got exams soon um, and they always reassure that everything's going to be okay, any worries we have, they're always here for us and they make sure everything is all good. That's lovely, and you Charlie? Um, yeah, for example in English currently we're already looking at our GCSE work so when we go into the GCSEs we're completely stress-free, calm and everything should be rolling as it should be, no worries. Starting to write. That's really so now I'm joined with two more Year 10 students, Elijah and Hermione. How does Brano help you learn? Well the teachers are very supportive and they encourage us to be independent and challenge ourselves to be the best student we can be. That's great and you Elijah? 
Um, yeah, like Hermione said, they really uh, they really challenge you, and if the work's too easy, they'll always make sure you've got something else to do so that you're constantly learning new things. That's great. Thanks, guys. We're stood next to the amphitheatre, where lots of community events take place, such as July Fest. As a school in the heart of the community, what we do for the community is really important to us. Please do or come and join us in our community cinema and any of our events that we hold, either for our children or for the wider community. Our Christmas fair and July fest, our fireworks in the autumn and also our uh, trunk or treat for Halloween. Please follow our Facebook page for any information about any of the events that we have. Thank you for joining us for our special report of Brannell School. Goodbye! Goodbye.